Good morning, I'm Mark Jacobson with an MGM Minute for the week of January 21st, 2019, coming to you from Aria, right on the Las Vegas Strip. And here's what's happening across MGM Resorts International. MGM Resorts and Mandalay Bay are doing their part to help local TSA agents who have gone without paychecks due to the partial federal government shutdown. This past Saturday was the first of several planned free lunch deliveries for TSA workers at McCarran Airport in Las Vegas. Mandalay Bay chefs prepared 350 box lunches for the first round of deliveries. The next delivery is set for this coming Friday, January 25th. This week we're serving an additional 700 box lunches to the TSA workers um, out of the airport um, just to thank them and to let them know that, that we, we're here to welcome and, and, and thank them for, their, for what they're doing in the time of um, challenging times that they're facing. MGM Resorts continues to explore the possibility of bringing a unique and world-class integrated casino resort to Japan. In fact, the company just opened a second office in the country, this one in Osaka. MGM Resorts Chairman and CEO Jim Murren and Company President Bill Hornbuckle were on hand to mark the occasion and help kick off the Osaka First strategic campaign, which focuses MGM's Japanese development efforts on the city of Osaka. MGM has had a full-time development team based out of its Tokyo office for several years now, working closely with Japan's business and cultural communities. Japan is one of the world's greatest food destinations, and this week, one of the country's most acclaimed chefs is bringing an exclusive culinary experience to Las Vegas. Hiroshima native Iron Chef Masaharu Morimoto will host a pop-up dinner series in the lounge of his Japanese restaurant, Morimoto, located at MGM Grand. During the special event, which runs January 23rd through January 26th, the Food Network star will offer an eclectic menu of dishes from his New York-based ramen restaurant, Mamasan Ramen and Saki. So I bring in some special from ramen, special appetizer from Momosan. I have Momosan ramen in Manhattan and the Hawaii do I keep it. And then very exciting here. You know, I'm gonna be here so first the second day. I'm very excited. Then this is the first time Morimo concept and then Momosan put together. So this is the first time in the world. Wow. Never, never done before. And finally, 2018 was quite the year for T-Mobile Arena. The venue landed at the top of Billboard Magazine's Arena Power List. As a thank you, the arena's management held an appreciation night last week for all the hardworking people and their families who had a hand in accomplishing this feat. Each event at T-Mobile Arena typically takes more than 1,000 team members to make it a success. Ticket sales from concerts and sporting events at T-Mobile Arena brought in more than $164 million last year. This is really about the line level employees. They're the ones that provide that great service every single day that make sure that all of our guests have a great time and want to come back and without their hard work and dedication, nothing else matters. MGM Resorts International is a joint venture partner of T-Mobile Arena, home of the NHL's Vegas Golden Knights. And for more information on any of these events and happenings, feel free to contact us at media at mgmresorts.com. Have a great day.